Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to the doctor's today and I figured I put on a face and makeup before I head out. Mm. <sighs> How's everybody doing? Oh, my back. Oh, my back is killing me. <laughs> hello, hello. I have to put on my glasses. Hello, please. Hi, everybody. I, I've learned to stay in my seat, stay in my big comfy recliner. And it makes things so much better. <laughs> I got a, I woke up at 10. That's very odd. That's the meds. The meds are doing that because <laughs> I don't wake up at 10. Uh, yes, they have me on Tramadol. They have me on Tramadol. And to be honest with you, I'm actually only using it because my back is killing me. And, um, in fact, I see my surgeon today. Um, and I think that, um, I I'm waiting for the, uh, okay to go see a chiropractor. <laughs> a lot of people think that it's the gas. It's like, you know, from the anesthesia that it's trapped in your back. A lot of people talk about pain in your back, but mine is in the lower back. And I think, I really believe, uh, based on research I've done, and um, that it's actually the position I was in during surgery. It was a small table. Big girls don't fit on small tables. And I actually uh, moved, they, I mean, some people are put out before they go into the OR. I was actually put out at the OR. So I actually um, was moved. I like moved from my rolling bed and they made me scoot over into the operating table. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sun Kiss. You have a great day. And, um, yeah, and they actually had me scoot on the pad that was this, bo this boulder. And I even thought to myself, that's going to hurt after an hour. And, um, and actually my surgery was three hours. Thank you. Thank you, Maybeth. I'm trying. I'm trying to, to relax. I'm trying to, um, this is another wet and wild. They're two wet and wilds, but they're different. I was telling, I, I did a video about get yourself some cheap makeup. And I only mean cheap in price, not in quality. 
because I like wet and wild. <laughs> so this one is called Photo Focus, and this one is called Makeup Locker because it's got... <clears throat> I bought these when I was, <laughs> oh my gosh, I bought these in the summer when I was going stir crazy from uh, quarantine. Remember all that? Do you remember that time? <laughs> and I just started ordering stuff. And that's when I ordered a bunch of makeup. Yes. It is from the surgery. It's how they position you. It's, um... And it's worse for heavy people because they do make you lay on these special cushions. And the cushions aren't there for your comfort. They're there for, um, for you to present so that your organs can be presenting upward so they can get to them better. Yes, they overarch your back. That's right. And so I... That is the pain I'm feeling. I feel some incision sites, uh, like my belly button aches. They ache and they sting. Like if I just took a shower, I just took a shower right now. So right now the belly button stings. <laughs> and um, one other incision, that I think it was like a camera incision that stings. But the pain that I am living with that is on a on a scale one through ten, it is a it's a solid six, is that back pain. I have I did not anticipate that. So this is dark. I clearly bought this last summer. That's pretty dark. So I hope everyone's doing good. I'm going to put some makeup on because I have a doctor's appointment. But we're going to go get some breakfast. Bye. Thank you, Maybeth. Oh. So I'm going to do another makeup color. Wow, this is dark. <laughs> this looks like I went and got a tan. <laughs> That's okay. The lighting is not where I want it to be, but oh well. I really don't care. I'll probably look ho ho horrendous in the sunlight. <laughs> I just need to put on some, just put on a face. Just feel good. Feel good about yourself. You know, play with your makeup. Get your makeup bag and yeah. Good morning. Good morning, big girl. Okay, I have. I actually have a a, a recommendation for tanning. Um tanning lotion um oh you're talking about like to get a tan because for the first time last year because our beaches were closed for a time and we didn't think we were going to go to the beach um and i just was experimenting <laughs> i bought jergens jergens has a whole line of um tanning lotion you know to color to color your skin and you can choose it to go in on dry skin or wet skin and it's a gradual thing so every day you're you know you're going to moisturize your body anyway you're going to put lotion on your body um your skin will start to gradually get bronze get very pretty bronzy color and to me that's better than tanner because i tried tanner and uh it just i looked weird i looked really weird and streaky 
I would, I would not know about super sensitive. Well, I don't know why I say that. I have eczema <laughs> and it did fine. Uh, yeah, I didn't get irritated. I have eczema. Thank you, Jules. So like, I'm not kidding. I, I use the grandma original. Isn't that funny? I use the grandma original and I will go get a bottle. Um, I can't, I'm not mobile. I'm not very mobile right now, but I will, um, I don't know if y'all are on my Instagram, but I will post those pictures because I still have them. So they're really great lotions. I got one for my face and I got one for, um, my body and it's made by Jergens. And I think I'm going to give it to my daughter. I think we're kind of the same skin tone because it's for the, it's for regular. It means it's going to regular, uh, regularly, you put it on your dry skin. I want it on my wet skin. So follow me on my Instagram. Because I post obviously more content. I mean, if you can handle that, that's where I hustle my Avon. I don't want to hustle my Avon on TikTok. Um... Because I don't want to deal with the MLM haters because there's a lot of young people that are still bitter about those um, those leggings. I don't know what they're called. I never bought them. And they have hurt a lot of families. That it was the biggest scam. I watched a documentary on it. It was disgusting. But Avon is like 135 years old. I've never met my director. I don't talk to my director. They don't care. They're not into team building at all. Uh, so you're not harassed. You're not like, um, your numbers are down. No, no, that's, that's Lulu. That's Lulu leggings. That was Amway back in the day. My parents joined Amway in the 80s. <laughs> that's not that is not Tupperware and that is not Avon. Tupperware and Avon could care less if you have team build. They just sell really good makeup and they're saving tons of money because they don't have to have storefronts. Their, their, their uh, you know, women are their storefronts and that is amazing. So I love Avon. I love selling it. So, but I will only hustle it on Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> Instagram and Facebook. Oh, my back. It's just like compulsory. You have to say it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Avon is the one that lasts. And they were bought out recently by a, a South Korean um, mega corporation. You know, I don't, I think you call them conglomerates. Um, rebranded it, re redid everything and um, stopped the animal testing. They can't get China to stop the animal testing, unfortunately. And China has a big stake in their Avon, but everywhere else, uh, they've, they've stopped the animal testing and there's no team building. In fact, when I signed up for Avon, um, I signed up because I was watching a Facebook uh, live and um, she said, if you get people to sign up under you, um, I'm just going to tell you that's a pain. <laughs> so they actually, this woman was actually discouraging it. She's like, it's a pain. Don't do it. <laughs> just sell Avon. Wow, Avon does it all for you. Okay, so I got this tan. I mean, I don't look too bizarre. This is how dark I get in the summer. But you can see my scalp and my my face. Is, you can see the difference. Yeah. Yeah, that's an old... That is, that is an old secret that still exists today uh skin so soft does kill mosquitoes we don't know why <laughs> i don't know why and we've known that since the 80s and they won't they will not allow us to sell it like that 
I mean, they don't tell us what to do. By the way, someone asked what lip gloss I was wearing yesterday, and I was wearing... Oh, it's the Wine and Dine from Wet and Wild. You could tell I don't get... I don't buy expensive stuff. But I, I think I still look good in it, right? And then I get stuff for my um, Ipsy. I love Ipsy. Ladies, I'm addicted to it. I get stuff like this from Ipsy. Isn't that gorgeous? What is this? Is this lip gloss? Oh, yeah, that's lip gloss. That's pretty. I think I'll wear that. It's by... Seraphine. See, I don't know these brands. Seraphine. Okay. Let's get some eye eye, eye makeup on. Oh, I'm going to go visit my doctor so that, that, so that his nurses can laugh at me. I went there two days post-op. Two days? Yeah. And the nurse asked me so when do you think you're going to go back to work? Because I gave her the paperwork uh, from um, HR. And she said, I said, in a week. Yeah, th yeah, after Easter, the, day, the Monday after Easter, I'll go back to work. I'm literally going to go over there today. And the first words out of my mouth is, I'm not going back after Easter. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> I don't know what I thought that I was gonna recover so quickly. Wishful thinking, wishful thinking. Oh. Um, I just gotta put on some makeup. I miss cooking guys, but I am so grateful that I don't have to. I really am. I'm so grateful that I don't have to, you know. I don't know how anybody does it. A lot of a lot of families came through for us with me being out. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. I'm just putting on some makeup before my doctor's appointment. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to wear something neutral. <clears throat> I don't know, Felice. Um, because, you know, all the food that you saw me cooking, do y'all understand that I would eat soup? So I have a little mini crock pot and that's where my soup would go. And one meal, I don't even remember what it was because I know I did a video. I videoed it and it was, I think it was the, the crock pot chicken. It was leftover chicken tacos. And I had two bites because I thought, well, the one bite I took the night before didn't hurt me. I'm going to take two bites now. And I had an attack, a bad attack. And I know that I just have to force myself to do it and because my husband is my biggest supporter and he's always telling me there's no diseased gallbladder in your body. Your liver is going to take over and your liver is healthy. You don't smoke. You don't drink. Your liver is perfect because they already ran tests. So your liver it, it can do this job on its own. And so he just tells me stuff like that. I tell myself that. I constantly tell myself it's gone. The disease gallbladder is gone. It was betraying me. It, it, it couldn't hold up. 
Now, that being said, um, am I going to start going fat free? No. <laughs> I'm going to go fried free. I'm fried free. I will not eat fried food anymore. No. And that's just, I can, I don't need it. I, ha, I have no desire for it and I actually don't miss it. I don't miss it. Um, so I will be going fried free and it doesn't hurt. It's not hurting my soul. It's not hurting my mind. Um, in fact, that's probably the one issue I don't want to go to away, go away is what fried food did to me. It and you know I could stand to lose some weight and be healthy. Oh, your liver's enlarged. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little sassy. So, and 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 extra strength Tylenol doesn't see. I have high blood pressure, so I can't have ibuprofen anymore. So I've kind of, and I love ibuprofen because you know that that will knock anything out. But I had to start getting used to Tylenol. It's just not my thing. That's not my thing. I'm going to go uh, green. See, I got this pink going on, and now I'm going to go in with some green. This beautiful I don't know what that color is. If anybody's interested, it's the editor palette. This from Kiate. <laughs> if my daughter was here, she'd be laughing. She said, Mom, why are you even trying to say those words? So that's like a green with the pink. My daughter cut my hair and she did a horrible job, guys. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. But I can't go to the, I cannot get my hair trimmed and it was, it was bothering me. So she cut it and I just thought, well, and you know, I wear wigs, so I'm not, I'm not concerned. I don't wear wigs when I video, but I wear wigs out. I'm not going to wear wigs to the doctor's office, but so it's not like I freaked out, but she really, she was so confident she could do it. And I'm here to tell you she can't. <laughs> oh, when I saw what she did, I thought, look. <laughs> so. Okay, blend. Now I need to blend. I, all of this I learned on TikTok. All of this. And my 1980s instincts are jumping in when it comes to color. When it comes to color matching, I'm an 80s girl. It's going to be vibrant. It's going to pop and it's going to be too much. It's going to be too much. Oh, Tylenol damages your liver too? Jeez. Let's, that looks light. Looks light and nice. What color is this? Oh, well, today I'm going to go to, I'm going to go get breakfast. I woke up, I have not had my coffee. And my daughter went to go, my baby girl, my 17 year old, her dad picked her up last night because early in the morning she, he went to go take her to go get her a uh, shot, her vaccination. So she just texted, texted me, she's ready to be picked up because he took her back home and that's fine. So we're gonna go pick her up, get some coffee and lost, let me help you Leia. Is that Leia? Lala. You know who I followed? Um, 
Because I wasn't, I mean, I was, I'm no, no, I'm no expert, but uh, that Michaela girl, she's awesome. I follow her on Instagram. I follow her on these young girls. They're just so talented, you know. And I don't care how old I am. I'm going to wear makeup the way I want. I'm going to be bold. Yes. Um, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to wear what I want. I'm not going to be told that, you know, my colors. And, you know, I'm a high school teacher. So you would think that I, have, I would get criticized. And I get the opposite. I one time was lecturing. Um, if I rem I'm trying to remember the story because I was lecturing and I was, I, I was in the middle of the lecture and I think it was a cold war lecture and I could hear two students like two, two desks uh, away and they were whispering <laughs> and they, they're not very good whispers because I could hear them. And I said, y'all understand, you know, and I do that a lot. I always check for understanding. I mean, doesn't that make sense? You know, I'll say that. And I could hear these two uh, talking. Okay. And um, we'll leave them just a little bit, babe. I'm almost done. Um, and this what this boy, he, he turned to the girl. These are 11th graders. And he said, she is so freaking cute. <laughs> and I, I felt a little patronized. And she says, her eyes are hilarious. And I thought they were making fun of me. And, and, and I thought, oh, they're making fun of me. And after class, the girl came up to me and she goes, I cannot get over your eye makeup. I have never met an older woman who is brave enough to do that with her eyes. And I, I did not get offended. I was like, okay. I said, what, what do you, do you think that, uh, what do you mean brave? And she says, well, because not many women your age, not many women your age, uh, would use those colors. And I told her, I said, I am actually embarrassed to say that I've been using these colors because they were LA colors. I said since high school. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I used to wear LA colors. I still love LA colors. I just haven't bought any more makeup because I now have Ipsy and I have a, and then I sell Avon. My gosh. The packaging on this thing. Okay, finally. Um, so they thought I was cute. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, good. This is the blackest night. Uh, thank God I need eyeliner. I need some good eyeliner. And I do the tug. You know, they always tell you not to tug. Can I put my eyeliner on without tugging? Yes. But if it ain't broke <laughs> and my eyes haven't broke, so whenever I use a Crayola or a crayon uh, uh, type, uh, cray I call them Crayola, the ones that you have to roll Crayola eyeliners, um, yeah, I'm gonna pull my eye and I don't do it with my liquid. If I ever use my liquid, and then I use a uh, black glue if I ever want to put my eyeshadows on. God, this is so hard to do with with my eyesight. Those are you who are curious. I got my first eyeglass prescription two years ago. I had amazing eyesight, and then boom. <laughs> I didn't have amazing eyesight. <laughs> He's my husband, just laughed. He's like, ha ha. As soon as 40 came, boom. Surprise! You're old. 
I like that color. I like black. Can't go wrong with black. Now let's do something with these woolly worms. You're going to have to put muscle rub on my back. It is just killing me. And I'm like... Whew. Okay. Put some mascara. Mascara. Uh -huh. No. And then I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna put some blush on too, right? But I'm not gonna do the 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 contouring today. I don't need that. Because this is really bad lighting, and I can only imagine what I look like. <laughs> we didn't play an April Fool's joke on him. Yeah, I know. What? April first. So if you don't, if you, you want me to, if you want to uh, <clears throat> uh, get Avon for me. Go to my Instagram because I, I won't, I will never make a, a TikTok video on Avon. I did back in the, when I first got on, they never did any good. Now I make them and I put them on private. So when you go to my Instagram, you're going to be confused because you're going to see videos that I've made, but I just use it as an editing tool. So I make a TikTok video about my makeup or Avon. And I set it on private so my TikTok followers never see those. And then I I upload them to um, Instagram because that's where I hustle Avon unashamedly. And now I will do a little highlight. And I love highlighter. I go crazy with it. It's like the best invention that you young girls came up with <laughs> for an 80s girl this is just like yes and and uh lala let me know who you are on instagram say hi i saw you on your live let me know so i can say hi and i'll follow you follow you back oh my goodness They know <laughs> it's Sam because I won't answer her text. She says, Can you pick me up now? I already had it. Abba, I already had the surgery, I had it Friday, so I am feeling good. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm in pain. My back hurts actually. Okay, I got two colors here a mauve and kind of a, they're both by Wet n Wild. Well, we're gonna pick you up because This is called Raspberry. And I think I'm gonna wear it because they seem to have like a beachy, a beachy sun kiss look going on. She doesn't have to cook it till 12 o'clock anyway. All right, bye, bye. They're bringing some home. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. It is, it, my, I am recovering quite well and it's going along very nicely. So this is me. Oh, thank you, CJ. <laughs> so I'm done. I can, my husband's gonna go and dress me. <laughs> oh, I feel like an invalid, but I know I need to take it slow. Well, ladies, I am going to go. I'm going to get dressed. I think today will be the first day I put on a bra, to be honest with you. I have not worn a bra since surgery. 
but I think I'm going to put one on. I wear comfortable bras, by the way. I don't wear underwear anymore. I stopped that. I used to wear the Lane Bryant underwire bras, and I looked like I had these beautiful melons, you know? That was when I was single. I was, like, single for 15 years. Um, and now I'm wearing a sports bra. I wear a nice sports bra from Hanes Her Way. They're the ones that button in the front. So they don't even look like I, I so they're just kind of hang there and I, I'm at that age where I don't care. I don't care. And I didn't care when I had, when I was wearing my Lane Bryant, you know, underwire, stick out the melons. You should wear what you want to wear. And that was my melon phase. That was where I have big breasts and I want you, I want the world to see it. And now I don't want you to see them. <laughs> I'm married and I and my back is killing me my back is killing me so I don't care about lifting up those breasts now actually to be honest when you lift up the breasts that actually helps your back so you put your back out just to hook me yeah I put my back out to hook you up <laughs> no, I know. Look oh my god oh and now I got them so now I, so they were headlights and now they're like spotlights. Lights. No, they're like they're like spotlights. They're all over the place. <laughs> Searchlights. Yeah, no underwire. You can't get me an underwire anymore. Mm -mm. I mean, I will wear what I need to wear to fix my back, but I normally don't have back problems. And to be honest, um, I I had so many fears about anesthesia and my body be, uh, recovering. And now I'm, I'm just so impressed with how my body is uh, handling things that I actually am looking for. I'm actually going to think about it and do some research. Um, I think I want a breast reduction. You know, I thought I was going to be traumatized with all the... I had a drain. And that's one thing about breast reduction is you're going to end up getting a drain, right? Because you have all that space that they have to get all that liquid out of your body so I think that this is something I'm gonna do um I'm I'm very happy with my the way my body's healing the way my wounds are healing so and the uh breast reduction is less evasive than gallbladder removal you did Miranda, Aranda, I think I'm saying that right. It's Miranda. Okay. Uh, you gotta, you gotta uh, tell me how your recovery was because um, I actually have a disorder <laughs> and I don't know what it's called because uh, they told me when I was 15, at 15, um, I had double D's. So my, back then in the, in the late eighties, uh, it just came I don't know if it was a bill or what someone can help me out with the information but I know that insurance was going to start covering breast reduction for people who had big breasts because that was a, a medical condition they proved it was a medical condition so at 15 my mother took me to the doctor and he actually diagnosed me with this thing he said we're gonna take the we can do it um but here's the thing they will grow back they will continue to grow. That's her thing. She cannot stop growing breasts. So, uh, they just keep growing. I wish my legs could grow. <laughs> Why my breasts? Oh, I had gallbladder surgery. And a hernia repair, Ed. Yeah, I had two and one, two and one. So um, they removed my gallbladder. The, they originally wanted to take out the gallbladder through the incision of the um, hernia, but they chose not to. It was too far away on my torso. Oh, wow. Okay, see? And that's what, that's what I've heard, that breast reduction is like the easiest 
surgery that you could possibly have and the scar is like a dime size it will probably be a total of two weeks susan um or 13 days because see i uh got the call that i could have surgery on fr on a friday on a wednesday so that wednesday i called hr and made all the plans and then on thursday i went for the blood work ekg registered at the hospital and hr told me they were going to do that they said we're going to go ahead and we're going to backtrack and we're going to have fmla cover you for these days as well so fmla covers me for the days prior to surgery that i was out yes i do feel better I have some mental issues about food, but I know, I just, I know it's going to, it's going to take time and I will get out of that. And, um, I got to find a healthy balance because I don't want to go back to the way I was eating. And, um, not that, uh, and when I say way, I won't give up my food. I will not give up my culture. I will not give, I've already made peace with me being a Mexican American and a woman that uh, spent half her life in poverty, those foods are precious to me. And I'm not gonna give up tortillas, I'm not gonna give up rice and beans, I'm not gonna give up fideo, I'm not gonna give up mashed potatoes, I'm not. But what I can do is I can exercise and I can walk and I can uh, practice portion control. And one thing I have no problem giving up is fried food. But I will not, uh, uh, diet culture doesn't appeal to me. And, and sometimes in, when I see diet culture, I feel like it's actually attacking some races. Um, to just openly say that rice and beans isn't healthy makes no sense. Mexicans live on rice and beans. <laughs> to, to, to tell me that, uh, Anyway, I can go on and on and on about it, but um, I'm not going to give up my cultural, my culture, which is, and all I have left is the food of my culture, um, because we are assimilated. My family's assimilated. Um, I don't speak fluent Spanish, so all I have, uh, besides the color of my skin, is my food, and I'm not going to give that up. You know. Oh, Jamie, I feel good. My back is killing me, but I feel good. Oh, Kelly Mama, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised that people come at me uh, for beans and rice or just beans. So. So anyway, I love visiting with you. I need some coffee. I need some coffee. I love you guys. And uh, if you're interested in and seeing, you know, what else I do with my life, please follow me on Instagram. Um, I hustle Avon, but I, I, I'm not obnoxious. I don't, I do not ring doorbells. I don't knock on doors and I don't do DMs. You DM me if you have any question about Avon. I will not DM anybody and say, hey, I want to talk to you about Avon. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. I don't do that. Um, but um, I am on Instagram. Take a look at me. Go visit me and follow me. And um, thank you so much, Jamie. Thank you, Dad, Ed. Oh, good. I plan to be back in the kitchen in another eight days, probably. Yeah, I have to take it easy. I do. I, I tried to make egg salad and my husband was so mad <laughs> and I said, I'm sitting down. I'm just chopping. I'm just making egg salad, <laughs> but I have to be very tender with myself. Hi, Felice. Much love. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching me put on my makeup. I look, I look suntanned. That's good. So I'll talk to y'all later. I'll see y'all later. I'll post more later. Bye. Oh, thank you, Sarah. <laughs>